Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem 36 of chapter 5. The beam of negligible weight is supported horizontally by two springs. If the beam is horizontal and the springs are unstretched, when the load is removed, determine the angle of tilt of the beam when the load is applied. First, we need to identify what the problem is asking for. So after, if this is the beam in original, position after we apply the load the beam is gonna have a deflection here we call it delta b and here delta a are not going to be the same because the two springs have different spring constant also the force that being applied on the two beams are not necessarily the same so you're gonna have delta a and so the question is asking for this theta. So if we have the displacement or deflection at the two points, we can find the angle. So our first task is to find delta B and delta A. But to find delta B and delta A, we need to find the forces that are being applied to our springs. And to find the forces, we need equilibrium equation. The first step in equilibrium equation is to draw the free body Diagram. So now I'm going to draw the free body diagram of uh, beam uh, CD. The forces that are being applied, I have a force here at C, but because the spring is called A, I'm going to call it FA. And then here I'm going to have FB, which is unknown. And also I have distributed loading. It's a triangular loading. So I know how to find the resultant force, FR is 600 multiplied by 3 divided by 2. So if I write it here, I have 600. So the result of a distributed loading is simply the area under the curve divided by 2. That gives me 900 Newton. So I have 900 Newton. And it's acting one third of its length from the right side, so or from the right angle. So one meter from here or two meter from this side. That makes the rest of this as four meter. So I can write summation of moments about this point and find FB and then write summation of forces in Y and find FA. So let's do that. Summation of moment, this point is C, about point C counterclockwise positive 900 is going to create a clockwise so negative moment arm is 2 fb moment arm is 6 is creating a positive moment equals 0 so simply fb would be 300 newton and if i write summation of forces in y equals zero, I have FA plus FB equals 900 Newton. If FB, FB is 300, then FA would be simply 600. So now that I have FA and FB, I can find delta A and delta B. We know according to spring equation, delta B is simply FB over KB, FB is 300 Newton, and F, uh, KB is 1.5 kilonewton or 1500 Newton meter. So delta B would be 0.2 meter. So pay attention to the unit as well. One is given in Newton, the other one in kilonewton. So delta A, similar FA over KA. FA is 600 Newton and KA is 1000 Newton over meter so that would be 0.6 meter so 0.6 and 0.2 so the problem is not done now that we have the two distance we can go back to our I'm gonna redraw it here 
So delta B, this distance is uh, 0.2. This distance is 0.6 meter. We know the length of our beam is not changing, it's 6 meter. Therefore, this distance is going to be 0.4 meter. So if you want to find this angle, this angle is simply, we know 6 sine theta gives us 0.4. Therefore, theta is sine inverse of 0.4 over 6 which is 3.82 degrees. And that's what the problem is asking for. This was the original beam before the formation, and this is the geometry of beam after the deformation. And we could find the angle of tilt.